Hello and welcome. In this video lecture session, we are going to discuss uh, the VLFI Epic Design Flow. Uh, in VLFI Epic Design Flow, there are lots of stages uh, through which uh, we proceed and we uh, we got final our GDS2 uh, GDS2 level, and that is uh, we send our GDS2 uh, to the Fab Lab. Uh, the very first step in the design flow in the Epic Design Flow is the uh, design specification and uh, that is uh, the, the specification given by our customer or consumers uh, or clients and they give uh, the functionality what they want in a chip this this specification is uh, very much in layman language not in technical language and uh, they just ask to uh, what uh, us they just ask us what what type of functionality they want in a chip then uh, then we convert this design specification in a behavioral description next step is our behavioral effect description uh, we convert uh, the design specification given by the uh, our client to its a behavioral description and uh, th this behavioral description in the next step is converted into RTL description that means we convert our behavioral uh, description of design into uh, the RTL coding uh, for RTL coding uh, nowadays we have to uh, for RTL coding we use uh, hardware description language uh, that is HDL uh, basically uh, Verilog and uh, VHDL Verilog or VHDL uh, is being used for this coding uh, this hardware description language is a bit different from uh, traditional sequential languages uh, basically this hardware description language works on the uh, concurrent basis that is uh, our VHDL or Verilog is a concurrent language uh, for more detail we will discuss and uh, the HDL uh, that uh, HDL that is VHDL or Verilog later uh, on lectures uh, in this in this stage we will uh, only uh, discuss about uh, its flow uh, so uh, after getting the design specification we convert it into behavioral description and after that uh, that behavioral description is converted into RTL description that is uh, hard, uh, HDL coding for a uh, for a big design this RTL description is not completed in uh, may not be completed in a single step uh, we will do it uh, then find uh, the uh, previous step uh, there should require some changes so uh, many cycles going on for this RTL description uh, so uh, we write once again change then write again so uh, there are too many cycles uh, is going on for a big design uh, it may not possible to write uh, to, uh, in a one time to uh, correct code for a, a big design uh, so it takes time and, and there are too many cycles uh, for the RTL description uh, then uh, after writing the RTL description that is uh, we have written the code in HDL uh, for a desired functionality of a chip uh, so, uh, so uh, for assure that the our uh, RTL description is correct or not, we will go for its verification, and that is called functional verification and testing. Uh, and this verification is uh, nowadays uh, done by the uh, system Verilog, mostly system Verilog they use. Uh, if we get any uh, functionality which is not fulfilling uh, or uh, it is not correct after verification uh, we will proceed uh, to the next step only when verification is completed that is uh, its functionality is okay uh, otherwise we will go back uh, to the RTL description and uh, uh, do changes whatever the required according to the functionality of uh, ac according to the functionality and uh, doing uh, some uh, cyclic 
protection in RTL description and verification uh, ch changes in RTL and again uh, verify it make changes in RTL and again verify it there are too many uh, cycles going on uh, for every design industry uh, and there are separate teams RTL coding team is separate uh, there is a big team for RTL coding and uh, one team is for uh, functional verification and testing there are uh, if there is any problem in, uh, in functional verification and uh, they will give back to the code to the RTL engineers and they uh, make changes in RTL coding then go back uh, to the verification verification engineers again test it and uh, if mm, they found uh, th it is not correct uh, according to the functionality they suggest to the RTL engineer uh, to uh, do the changes and RTL engineers again uh, forward it to the verification engineer uh, so uh, a cycle is going on in between RTL, uh, uh, RTL engineers and in the functional verification uh, functional verification after the functional verification is completed that is uh, we have assured that uh, the our RTL coding is correct and it is behaving properly then we will uh, move forward and that and the next step is synthesis uh, logic synthesis is basically and uh, the uh, converting RTL to a set of gates and wires connecting them that is uh, whatever we have written in RTL coding uh, it is being converted in logic synthesis it is being converted into gates and its interconnects there are uh, some popular very popular commercially available synthesis tools which is being used in industry are Ambit from Cadence Design Compiler uh, from Synopsys Precision of Mental Graphics and Blast Fusion of Magma uh, so uh, logic synthesis is a process which converts our RTL code into a set of gates and wires connecting them uh, so uh, after logic synthesis we will get a net, uh, get level netlist uh, so uh, in, uh, log we have done the logic synthesis and, and got uh, and get a get level netlist uh, this get level netlist net is again being uh, verified that, that is logical verification and testing uh, if uh, lo in logical verification there is some problem uh, which is not meeting uh, according to our design specification uh, we go back to the RTL uh, description and uh, change the RTL coding again and uh, again we have to follow the functional verification then logic synthesis and, and then logical verification uh, and this again this cycle come again and again uh, cycle fronts again and again unless and until logical verification is completed Logif logical verification completed then we start its floor planning and placement and routing for so next step is floor planning and automatic placement route uh, from this stage we uh, started working on backend so basically there is uh, two type of team, uh, teams which uh, before keep uh, logic uh, till the logical verification and testing uh, which teams uh, do the logical verification and testing from the start, uh, starting that is design verification is called front end and uh, after uh, the floor planning and automatic place and route till the uh, our uh, GDS2 uh, that is uh, we are sending our codes to FabLab is come under the backend so uh, uh, now backend uh, backend activity has started that is floor planning and testing in every uh, industry uh, VLFI industry 
there is a big team of PNR PNR that is placement and routing uh, PNR teams uh, do the placement and routing of uh, different uh, blocks gates and uh, optimize the area the speed ADC uh, so uh, the, it takes lots of time and lots of and lots of efforts that is when uh, efforts required in this stage and there are basically all the things are automated but uh, during optimization uh, we are not totally dependent on the idea tools there are lots of manual uh, placement and routing activities uh, has to be and do uh, for has to be done uh, for uh, optimizing the uh, uh, speed and area power addition and there is one more uh, stage uh, after uh, floor planning and automatic place and route that is called static time analysis uh, PNR team itself or STA team and do the static time analysis that uh, there is uh, the no violation of uh, setup and hold timing uh, then it works uh, on a desired frequency at which uh, desired frequency it is capable to work in a desired frequency and that is given by the design F FFFN or uh, uh, so uh, after the uh, floor planning and automatic place and route we will uh, go to the uh, physical design uh, physical design uh, that is physical layout in physical layout we convert our design into uh, its layout layout means uh, how they are interconnecting uh, how different blocks are interconnecting gates or blocks are interconnecting between them there are lots of uh, rules uh, which are uh, provided by the uh, fabrication uh, labs uh, considering uh, the effects of uh, its various type of effects like antenna effect uh, uh, cross talk and many more effects uh, which all uh, are uh, taken together and uh, they uh, frame some rules which we have to follow in physical layout um, layout uh, after physical layout we will go to the uh, it's very uh, that is uh, layout verification and Im implementation uh, this is the very uh, this is the last step of our design that is uh, we verify our layout uh, if and layout and if there is any uh, problem in uh, this stage that uh, this stage we, we have we have to go back to the floor planning or automatic place and route and, and do again the placement and routing uh, routing uh, uh, but sometimes we feel that the problem cannot be resolved by uh, placement and routing only and it may requires change in RTL description uh, so uh, if the RTL description change a requirement required then we have to again follow the cycle that is uh, again we have to do the functional verification and testing then logic synthesis and all these steps uh, unless and until uh, we have uh, finished our uh, layout verification uh, because if uh, there is any uh, problem uh, any problem uh, in our design and if we find this problematic uh, design to the fab lab it will be uh, fabricated and uh, total wastage of our effort and money uh, so there is a big loss if uh, there is a, any bug or uh, 
not meeting our uh, design expectation and it is uh, being uh, fabricated since um, we will uh, fab uh, fabricate a chip in a bulk that is uh, based on a single design we are going to produce thousands of uh, or uh, or much more chips all together so uh, it is very important that each and every st stage is properly verified uh, so uh, if layout verification and implementation is completed that is uh, everything is okay then we will go uh, send this design to the fabrication lab and fabrication lab uh, will fabricate our design in uh, silicon chip that is in vapor so all these stage made uh, divided broadly into parts uh, first is called front end uh, in front end uh, basically uh, from starting that is from the design FF event the logic logical verification comes under the front end and another uh, part is back end back end uh, in back end floor planning and placement and uh, floor planning and uh, automatic place and route comes uh, till the our uh, layout verification uh, and this is the uh, basic um, basic of uh, LFI effect design flow in next lecture we will see uh, the FPGA design flow thank you